I need a new CNC laser cutter for metal. I also need a new welder. I need a metal brush to clean rust. And I also need a lightsaber, why not? If only there was a single machine that could do all those things. Xtool just sent me the Metal Fab. They sponsored this video and asked me to show how this thing streamlines real projects. No scripts from them. This is going to be my real workflow, including the warts and all. Now, why do I need those four tools? For a ton of reasons. But today, it's because I'm trying to restore a heavy duty cart that I pulled out of the recycling. So let's go over the four main functions of this machine together as I restore my garbage cart. Firstly, these four legs are all different heights by almost an inch. So I measure a consistent length from the ground and mark it with a Sharpie. Now I could cut this with a saw, but we wouldn't really be a tech channel if we didn't use a lightsaber to do this. This machine boasts a 1200 watt fiber laser, which is insane, literally insane. And at that power, we can cut steel of up to five millimeters thick. This cart leg here is four millimeters in thickness. So let's use this beam of photons to get our straight cuts. Note that I'm always cutting downwards. The last thing I want is to face the laser out into the distance and ignite something far, far away. I must say making these cuts is extremely simple. They're very precise and they're very clean. There's like no slag here. I also love that I don't have to guess what power I need to set this machine to. They have on-screen presets here that I just click and all the settings are correct. It makes cutting other things really easy actually without having to tinker to get the best settings right. Good job Xtool, I approve of this awesome user interface. But you might think, hey, why not just use a power tool? To which I would say, well, that's no fun. And in my defense, technically, this is a power tool. Anyways, so the lightsaber, AKA the handheld laser cutter is feature number one. Moving on, I need to clean the rust and paint off of these so that not only does it look better, but it prevents further rusting moving forward. It will also prepare the surface much better for welding. This is feature number two, which replaces the metal brush I wanted. Now, how it differs from the lightsaber, AKA the laser cutter, is that it wobbles back and forth really fast this cleans small and deep areas flawlessly, which I struggled to do with my 20 watt laser previously. So our photonic steel brush, AKA the laser cleaner, is feature number two. Now is the fun part, welding. I need to mount these bars in between legs in order to support my table surface. Now I do have a TIG welder and admittedly, I suck at TIG welding. Seriously, I tip my hat down to all you professional welders who do this so well. Check this out though. All I need to do is drag the welder across the surface and my weld is just as good as those red seal welders. If you disagree, let me have it in the comments. I will say that this felt much simpler and safer to operate than a MIG or TIG welder. I was hiding behind the weld gun so I couldn't even see the weld pool, but the results are perfect for my needs. To prove my point, here are two random sheets of metal that I will quickly weld together. The fact that I can bend them this much before the weld breaks is indicative of a good weld. There is, of course, the danger of a very high power laser beam that can reflect off surfaces, but you can't activate this machine until you go through the X-Tool safety training online, which generates a custom code for you to then activate the machine. I absolutely respect this from them as a company. So again, X-Tool, you nailed it with the safety. This machine can also handle brass, aluminum, stainless, and carbon steel, which are all very common metals that I work with. So those are the three main features of the main laser unit. Feature four is where things get really fun. Not only did I just get this laser cutter, cleaner, and welder, but I can also mount it straight onto the CNC gantry and immediately have a 1200 watt CNC laser cutter. So how well does the CNC laser cutter work? Well, I need to cut this custom plate for a prototype I'm making. So I bought some sheet steel, loaded the file, and seriously, this is like the bamboo of CNC laser cutting. It just worked. Apparently the CNC edition also supports CNC laser cleaning. And I was informed by the company that they also have CNC engraving. This is a serious CNC laser cutter for metal 
that is definitely at a level for use by a small business. So what are my concluding thoughts of this machine? Well, I got my four in one machine, which does honestly save a ton of space in the shop. I like that I only have to learn one user interface instead of four. And lastly, it's really going to shorten my iteration times on projects. Our first project with this machine is going to rebuild our DIY ultra high vacuum furnace. So stay tuned for our next video and subscribe now. If this machine's of interest to you, definitely click on the link in the description to get your own X-Tool Metal Fab.